Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. Um, bit of a nondescript video this week. Um, if I'm perfectly honest, a lot of time has been taken up doing other things, which isn't video making. Um, there might be a couple of weeks where there aren't videos, but I'm gonna do my best to get some out to you. This video is more of a informative video. Um, you've probably seen that this channel, I've done a bit of rebranding as such. I've been trying to tie things together. Um, the NJR modeling name, brand, if that's what you want to call it. I've had that for producing the kits for a good while. Um, there's a Facebook page for it. And I thought it'd be good to just tie everything together as the, under the one name. So it can all be found relatively easily. Um, with that in mind, this video is regarding NJR modeling and the kits. This week, um, we released the SAS things, um, both the power and the slope saw. Um, hopefully somewhere here, I'll be able to get some photos in to show you. Um, also up in this corner, there'll be some links to a couple of videos of them flying, hopefully. Um, they're a little bit old now. I think they're probably a couple of years old when yeah. we were flying up at CBF. Uh, no, we got a video of them flying at our new club as well. Did we? Yeah, okay. we've so got the one meter flying here. Not very good footage because it was me that was filming, but. Okay, so we've got some videos that we hope you put up in the corner. Um, links to the website is below where you can find the kits. Um, everything on the website, uh, stock levels, is actually what we've got on hand here. It's not like shadow stock or anything like that. If it says it's not in stock, we haven't got it at the moment. If it's not in stock, we are already trying to get them back in stock. Uh, at the time of filming, the Maris 40s are out of stock. Um, and that's because I think one person bought like four kits or something daft. So they're already in production for another batch. Um, so they'll be uh, available probably in about four, maybe five weeks time. Um, the, as I said, the things are in stock at the moment at the time of filming. <coughs> Blobs are in stock and Morris 25s are in stock. Uh, I've also added some little servo mounts, which is something that I needed made and the chap who does my laser cutting at the moment said it'd be easier enough to do one as it is to do... Excuse me. Right, sorry for that interruption. Um, the chap doing the laser cutting said if you're doing one, you might as well do 30. So we did 30. Um, for what they are, I thought they might be useful to somebody else, so I'll put them on the website. That's really put me off now, what I was saying. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I was saying. Um, stuff about being in stock. Yeah. So. Technical difficulties. Yeah. So <laughs> those are the kits that are in stock. Um, lots of people have been asking about the Apache, which again, I'll try and put a photo in here. Um, there's actually a box there with a built Apache sticking out of it and a lot of fuselages in it, ready to go into kits. They'll be coming, again, they'll probably probably be available in about four, again, maybe four to five weeks uh, from the time of filming. Um, as soon as they're available, they'll be on the website. Initially, it's gonna be a batch of five, um simply because of the time it takes to get fuselages made kits made etc i've got the first five with me as soon as i've got all the other parts for the kits made they can be put into boxes and listed on the website there's no waiting list it's whoever gets the website first will get them what i am going to do because of the demand is that i'm going to say initially that you can only order one per order um, it's not because i don't want people ordering lots of them i'll happily sell as many kits as you want but to try and make it a little bit fairer so that somebody couldn't go and buy all five, um, at least there's five people who've got a chance of getting them. I haven't got projected costs for them yet. Um, I've got an idea what I want them to be, but until I've actually got the kits here in my hands, I won't know exactly how much they're gonna be. That is about it as far as kits are concerned, other than we're not sure yet on which one to do next. Um, the ones that we've been working on are all set in stone now. We know what we're doing. We just haven't quite got them all yet. 
So the next decision is whether it's going to be the Starjet or the Ace. Starjet is hanging up to my right over there as a glider, but there's also a powered version for a 25 and up. The Ace is uh, going to be available as a two, three or four channel model. So it could be two channel glider, three channel glider, three channel powered, four channel powered. And we're hoping to have an electric option <coughs> to go in that. Um, we figure it out. Yeah. Again, that's something else we're, we're working on in the background. Um, we've got... A blobby. We've got a blob E, as it's being called, or blobby, being worked on. Um, we've got several different powertrains, which we're going to be exper experimenting with. And what we want to try and do is have a drop-in fit. So the actual raw kit, or the basic kit, doesn't need much changing to make it electric. Um, and that will we will discover as we finish them and get them ready to fly. So alongside the blob E, or blobby, there's a thingy. There's a thingy, thingy, up here. I'm planning on having exactly the same powertrain in both of them. They both flew on 15s. Why can't they fly on the same powertrain electrically? We're looking at about 250, 300 watts on 3S. Um, physically, everything fits in. It's going to be a case of trying to get the balance right and making it as easy a fit as possible. The ACE is going to be utilising the same powertrain because, again, that flies on a 15. Um, that might well need a bit more reworking at the front, but if it does, the kit, when it comes to being produced, you'll have the option whether you build it as glider two channel, whatever airframe configuration you want, or electric IC or glider. And you, you decide from the start and you build it as that type of model. But that will all be included in the one kit. So you can decide out of all of them which kit you build, uh, which airframe you build from the one kit. So yeah, what we want to do is below, comment on this video, either Ace or Starjet, as to which one you'd like to see worked on next. They'll both be done, but which one you want to see done next? Soonest. Yeah, soonest. Um, there's also another couple of um, SAS designs, which will be worked on. Um, but I, I want to see the Ace and the Starjet done, but I can't. we can't decide which one to do next. So we're putting it out to you and Facebook world and everybody that watches and listens to what we're doing. Let's put it on Instagram. Uh, yes, I thought I had. Yeah. I haven't. Okay, this is media mogul here. Who knows what we've done, where and when, how on social media. If you put it on social media, he's seen it and dealt with it. Um, so yeah, Ace or Starjet, that's what we're asking. Um, all links below to what we're talking about with kits. Um, if you're watching this video and you're not already, please give it a like and a share. Uh, and also if you're not already subscribed tick the bell and you'll get a notification when we put a new video up but until next time we're going to go and try to tidy up and do some more modeling catch you later